Prostate cancer is staged according to a TNM system. T for tumor, N for nodal metastases, M for other metastases. Any patient who has metastases, either in the lymph nodes or in the bones or elsewhere, as uh, indicated by CT scan, MRI, or bone scan, cannot be treated or cured by HIFU or indeed any other local modality of treatment such as radiation or surgery. The T stage refers to the involvement or the extent of disease within the prostate. T1C, which is the commonest we treat, is diagnosed on the basis of a slightly elevated or elevated PSA and a positive biopsy without anything being palpable within the prostate on digital rectal examination. T2 tumors, generally subdivided into A and B, indicate that the disease is confined to the prostate based on all available evidence, whether digital examination or ultrasound, and is certainly treatable and curable by, by HIFU. T3 disease implies local disease which has extended beyond the capsule of the prostate and is present outside of what the anatomical limits of the prostate. This kind of disease is not amenable to surgical treatment, can still be treated by radiation and HIFU, but carries with it a worse prognosis uh, in that when the disease has eroded beyond the prostate, it is more likely to be locally extensive and more likely to be metastatic, that is present in lymph nodes or other areas, even though it may not be detectable based on current level of diagnosis. T4 disease implies invasion of adjacent structures, usually the bladder neck, sometimes the rectum, and is a locally extensive disease which responds poorly to all forms of local radiation or HIFU treatment. I would say that uh, as long as the disease is confined to the area of the prostate, and that would include T3, it is theoretically treatable by HIFU or radiation, uh, particularly HIFU produces fewer side effects, but the purpose of staging is to give uh, information on prognosis, and the higher the stage, particularly the T stage, uh, the less likely is cure in terms of outcome.